Some say age is just a number, but the fact is some numbers just work better together than others. On today's case, Mr. Redding says when he first met Ms. Torres three years ago, he saw nothing wrong with their 22-year age difference. Since then, he says her tantrums have cost him his job, his clothes, and a good portion of his sanity. Now he says he is ready to end this relationship and move on. Can Ms. Torres convince him she's matured and ready for this relationship? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Redding versus Torres. Thank you very much, Mr. Redding, Ms. Torres. Mr. Redding, you say your fiance's erratic behavior is the main reason you find yourself in my courtroom. You say she's not the woman you fell in love with, and ending your engagement is the only option. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Torres, you admit you're not perfect, but you say calling off your engagement isn't the answer. You hope to prove that you're working on changing and being a better partner to Mr. Redding. Yes, Your Honor. So let me see what this is about. Mr. Redding, you brought your fiance to court today. Why are we here? I'm trying to get my ring back, my engagement ring back. Um, relationship is not what I thought it was. It's been some infidelity, lying, and she got very bad anger issues. And you don't think that there's any fixing to this relationship? You just want it done? Pretty much, yes. And, Ms. Torres, why are you here? I'm here today to save our relationship. I truly feel like I could be a very good wife to him. He gave me the ring. There's no going back. I feel like we're stuck together now. Well, you do realize if one partner doesn't want to get married, you're not going to get married. Yes. And the ring is a, a, a present in anticipation of an action. That's right, your The engagement your... ring was given in, in anticipation of a marriage. That's true. And if you don't get married, why do you want to wear somebody else's ring? I do believe a lot of the things he's been saying are just accusations, you know? He, okay. He just doesn't trust me. Um, I'm not sure why. So now let's get to the bottom of that. That's why we're here. Mr. Redding, I see that there is indeed a 20-something year age difference. How did you all meet and what got us to the point where you're asking for the engagement ring back? We met in PA, out at the club. Mm -hmm. I used to see um, Ms. Torres around a lot. So I spoke and got her number. We was communicating back and forth for a while. I was just coming off a messy divorce. Okay. So you really weren't looking for a big permanent thing yet? No, I was looking for a little bit of excitement. Yes. I didn't think I was going to get that much. Mm-hmm. And so how long did you all date until you got engaged? For about a year. About okay. a year and a half, about a year. And you've been living together for the last year, is that correct? Yes. Were you concerned, Ms. Torres, about the age difference? Were you concerned when you started having a relationship with Mr. Redding? At first, I, I wasn't even aware of how old he was, and then eventually... When, that's once black I found crack. He, he's a handsome yes, gentleman. Yes, that's true. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, that's true. So, you know, I... It was what it was, you know? We were already so far into it. It's just... It is what it is. I was okay with it after that. So, Mr. Redding, how has the age difference manifested itself? You say there's some serious anger problems. Yes. Well, the age difference didn't bother me at first. And it really didn't bother me until we actually moved in together. So what happened, or how did the anger issues and the immaturity manifest themselves? Well, before we actually moved in together... Okay. ...we was dating. And we was out. Good night, nice night. Staying at a hotel. Went back to the hotel. I fell asleep. Okay. I woke up in the morning. All my clothes was gone. My phone was gone. My keys was gone. Everything and Miss Torres was gone. It looked like you had been like the hookers do, rolled. <laughs> y yes. You're in all honesty, I mean seriously. Absolutely, absolutely. That's what it looks like. That, yes. That's, that's, I mean, absolutely. I'm a former prosecutor, so I've prosecuted yes. cases that it looked like you know the hookers roll yeah. you. They take your watch, your wallet. He knows yep. why though. That, that, she, exactly. He knows she why. said she never been prosecuted under that, but that that's the first thing I thought. That's a prosecute. Um, Come on. That's a prostitute move. Called my friend, take me back to my office. The office is going crazy. All my clients was calling the office, saying they're getting a call from a woman that's Mr. Redding is cheating with her. Like, I guess the woman is saying that I'm sleeping with the client, cussing them out, try to call Miss Torres, she wouldn't answer. I don't know what happened to her. All my stuff is going, like, I literally went back to the office in my boxers and my T-shirt. Wow. Long story short, I got demoted and I got a three-week suspension with no pay pending the investigation. Are you kidding me? I still don't know what's going on yet. 
probably three days later, I talked to Miss Torres. She was like, she went through my phone at night, seeing all the messages, like females' names, and started you writing. You knew what it was. All, and started exactly writing all the messages. Doing. Mind you, she took my work phone. Am I to understand that the defendant took your phone, went through it, identified several women that she thought you might be stepping out on her with... Yes. ...reached out to those women... Yes. ...with threatening and or harassing... Yes. ...calls or texts? Yes. And you ended up basically losing your no. job... My because career. Of... I only like to call it a job. Your Honor, he was flirting with those clients. Of... Girl, I don't oh. care what he was doing. There's a couple things you can't do. One is put me in a trick bag so I go to jail with you or for you, and two is mess with my money. Yep. Plain and simple. And that was the single most immature thing that I have heard sitting at this bench. What in the world possessed you to do something like that? Your Honor, let me explain. See, these are not clients. These are ex-girlfriends. There's pictures with him, kissing on them. There's videos. They're not clients. But wait a minute. Why did his job respond the way they did? Because that's a fact. That is a fact. That the man's job responded in a way to say that whatever woman was calling clear clients. So you... But not only that, Your Honor, during the three days that she went missing, when I go to the bank to take out money, because I had no phone or nothing, I went to the bank to take uh -uh. out money. Uh-uh. Counts uh -uh. empty. Try it. When I asked for my... the printout, all this... She took my cash app and would just send her, her money, money back and forth. Me. For dinner. It's the money he owed me. For dinner, shopping, and she just kept going... For all the hotels going, I've been paying. She just going all the way down. with me. That's the money he owed me. You better than me. Yes. Yes. Better than me. I should be in jail right now. Once we moved in together, she got real possessive. Met a couple guys at work down there. We was going out to shoot pool. When I got out the shower, everything was tore up. Your Honor, I did do it. I did tear up his clothes and tear up the shoes, but there was a reason why. He was supposed to go out with me that night. If some stranger came into the house and did exactly what you just described, they'd be arrested. You stayed with her after the job situation? Yes. Again, you're a better person than me. I understand that these anger issues manifest themselves in other ways, like destruction of property. Yes. Once we moved in together, she got real possessive. Anytime I would try to go out... Mind you, I'm not... I moved down to PA to where she lives at. Went, moved down there, um, got a house out there. I have no friends out there, so usually it's me and her. Met a couple guys at work down there. We was going out to shoot pool. Laid my clothes out, got in the shower. When I got out the shower, everything was tore up, cut up. Design everything. I submitted evidence, my sn the sneakers. I got this Jeez. man had me waste some money. Excuse me, Ms. Torres, I just want to see what the evidence is. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, That's 1,200 right there, Your Honor. Okay, Ms. Torres. You, you wanted to say what? Your Honor, I did do it. I did tore, tear up his clothes and tear up the shoes, but there was a reason why. He was supposed to go out with me that night. I get home, he's talking about he's going out with his boys. He, and he doesn't have a, a vehicle, so he's taking my vehicle to go out with his friends after I had paid for everything in the reservations that night. So, of course, I got upset and I did tear up his, his uh, shoes and clothes. No, that's, that's, that's not how that night happened. She got he her, left me hanging. She got her times, he um, left me hanging. Mixed up. She got her times mixed I've up. I worked Listen, all we, day. He didn't even have a job at the time. I've been paying not all going the bills out. We was not go for months. Regardless, that's no excuse. Time, please. I've been paying all the bills for months at that time. So he was not working. He was not doing anything. So, Mr. Mr. Redding, me. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> that's it, the third strike, I think. <laughs> sir, was Ms. Torres holding down the relationship at that point financially? Probably for about two months when I first moved down there, she did. And I thought she should have. She cost me my job. She knew I had to... Um, I just relocated, and I was looking for a new employment. So, for... So, within two months of you moving to Pennsylvania, did you have a new job? Yes. Yes. And have you had a consistent income since that time? Yes. So, Ms. Torres, again, you all got over the ripped-up sneakers torn up clothes he could afford and decided to move in together? 
He he could buy new shoes. It's it's shoes. It's more. No, important. it's property, honey. It's but it's property. more yes. important that he's not paying bills and sitting around not doing anything anything for five. It's months. actually just as important to respect somebody's personal space and personal property. It is plain and simple. Again, vandalism and destruction of property are crimes. They could get you thrown in jail. You know the fact that couples wild out and tear up each other's things and break stuff and somebody doesn't end up in jail, that's only because the partner has decided not to. But if some stranger came into the house and did exactly what you just described, they'd be arrested because the action itself is criminal behavior. Yes. Plain and simple. And no matter how angry you get or upset you get or whether it's right or wrong, to commit crimes in order to prove your point will end you in jail at some point, because you're going to run up against the wrong person. Her and her girlfriend went to an after-hours club. Send me the picture. Let me see. You can see the drapes. That looks like somebody's grandmama basement. That's, the, that she's, that's what I said. She's with somebody who still lives with their grandma. Your Honor, it was a new lounge. It, it was, was a new lounge. It was being renovated. There was a full bar next to me. So, Mr. Redding, is this your wife? Is this who you want to be your wife? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Mr. Redding, you say Ms. Torres has been lying about her whereabouts. Yes. Mrs. Um, Torres will be out, and I will call her and ask her where she's at. She's, this is 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. She tells me she had a taco spot. I don't know no taco spots open 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I checked the GPS. The GPS says she's at a, a row house. I submitted Honor, the evidence, Your Honor. You submitted evidence? Yes, I did. Let me see the evidence. Can I show you? Yeah, let me, let me see what it is. OK. Oh, yeah, you have to explain to me what I'm looking yes. at. Mind you, Your Honor, I was a project manager at a roofing company. So you were being my expert witness. This These are all row houses. These are no, townhouses. Not. Mm-hmm. Cars in the street. There's no parking lot for no taco. Does that look like a taco place to you? No, sir. Ask, um, well, it's a taco spot that don't have a whole lot of traffic, I can tell you that. Yes. If she would have told me her and her friends were going to go to the taco truck, it was more believable. Right. Ms. Torres is like a politician. Even when she gets caught in a lie, she won't back paddle, won't try to make it right. She will run with this lie until the wheels fall off. And what was the lie that she maintained? Mm -hmm. Your Honor, this it was is, a taco This is a taco spot. place. That is a taco spot. This is a taco place. These are all are residential serious? roofs. You see the cars in the, the driveway? There's no drive-through. There's no place Why for a pedestrian to park. Why would I share my location park. with this man? Without hesitation, I shared the location with you. Yes. Why would because, I share it with Your Honor, you? Your Honor, and every time this house. stuff comes up, technology is wrong. So is this the location you were? Yes. I went there. I hopped in my friend's car that night after the party. We were hungry. The food was not good there. After we hopped in the car, she said, I know a place where we can go get something to eat because they're open all night. So I said, OK. She said it was a small mom and pop shop. I said, all right. Was it somebody's house? Yeah, I wouldn't say it was somebody's house, but it was like commercial downstairs and apartments upstairs. She's lying, Your Honor. No, I'm not. I even she, posted. She did, she I did so much, and she did so much about on this. My story on the Instagram. next day, Your Honor, I got up and went there. That's what I, I was about to ask. Wasn't no the taco tacos sign were up good. there. I wasn't had chicken was and was beef tacos. Wasn't, no, wasn't no sign up for no tacos. It looked he like a regular lying. go home, Your Honor. Oh, excuse me. Mr. Redding, did you go to this location? Absolutely. Was there a commercial establishment? Absolutely not. These are okay. real homes. He did not go. Ms. Torres, I actually believe Mr. Redding. I think he's yes. telling the truth. Point over here to the plaintiff. What else? One night she was going to a lounge. But they was going out for dinner and drinks. Started getting late, 4 o'clock in the morning again. Wow. Yes. Anytime the sun beats you home, it's a problem for I me. I left late, Your Honor. Um, what in the world is out there at 4 o'clock in the morning? It's Philadelphia. Nothing. It's 2 a.m. I, I left close to 2 a.m. He knows that. I don't understand yeah. why. Any, anyway, Your Honor. Because the only thing that's open at 2 a.m. is gas stations and legs. That's why. That's it. Keep going. So she was supposed to be at the lounge, so I called her. She said her and her girlfriend went to an after-hours club. Now, I knew, do know they exist. Yeah, I know after-hours club, but send me the picture. Let me see. Let's see what it look like in there. 
She sends me a picture. I have the evidence, Your Honor. Let me see. Again, Your Honor, I'm, I'm 44 now. If you can, you see, you can't zoom in here, but you can see the plastic on the furniture. You can see the drapes. That looks like somebody's grandmama basement. That's, that's, she's, that's what I said. She's with somebody who still lives with their grandma. Somebody, that's somebody's grandma yes. basement. Yes, that looked like a house party to me. That don't look like no after hours club, no, no lounge. This is someone's house. But you know what? Thank you very much. You can retake your space. <laughs> Mr. Redding, that might be somebody using their grandmama's basement <laughs> for an all party. They're having a little yeah. after party. Yeah. A little after party. But, that, that's but that's definitely house. somebody's house. Yes. That's not a lounge. That's in my house. Your Honor, it was a new lounge. It, it was, was a renovated. new lounge. It was being renovated. There was a full bar next to me that I had also shown him a photo of. I whether or not that, he decided get, to bring it. I didn't get that photo, photo Your Honor. I didn't get that photo. No, okay. he did. He did. And now he also got a photo of me and the girl and the guy that, ha that was there that night. I took a selfie photo and sent it to him. Oh, but he only shows that picture facing the wall in the entrance. So, Mr. Redding, do you actually suspect that she's cheating or are you just uncomfortable with the fact that she has a life outside of the life with you? I never... I can't say that I really call her cheating. But it's a lot. It's, it's a lot of suspect stuff. Is this your wife? Is this who you want to be your wife? No. No. Ms. Torres, Mr. Redding doesn't believe you and doesn't trust you. Yes. And thinks that he's made a mistake. Uh, yes, I just want my ring back. I'm still making payments on that. Ms. Torres, Mr. Redding doesn't want to have the engagement anymore. What's your response? He's not getting the ring back. I don't see why he should get the ring back. He, he knew what it was from the beginning. He knew no, the... No, I didn't know. Yes, I didn't know yes, it was this. Did. I didn't know you it was knew, all this. You knew... I didn't know it was all this. The complication started time, from the beginning, please. Your Honor. From him texting other women, him going around, girls texting me. He knew what it was. It's not... I've never had a man text his phone. I've ne He's never seen me with another man. So, How Ms. Torres... I go on his phone and so he's you're got saying, with other you're women? You're saying you're keeping the ring. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, so, Mr. Redding, you said that you are still paying on the ring? Yes. So, you do realize that the ring is collateral for whatever the payment arrangements you have? Is that what it is? Like, you went and bought it at a location and you have to pay X amount of dollars every month? Yes, I had to finance that. Uh-huh. So, that ring could be repossessed. I mean, but it'd be so much easier if she would just return Absolutely. the ring. Absolutely. It'd be so much easier. Like but she had what... the ring on that. Excuse me, but what has been easy in this relationship? This is why I'm sorry. Nothing. I'm keeping this ring. I don't know about him, but I'm keeping this ring. So, my advice to you is to serve her with papers to get the ring back. And when she does not give the ring back, which she has just so eloquently told you she's not, let the finance people know who financed the ring and tell the police that you'd like to file a report. Yes. If you want to escalate this, there are ways to escalate it. And all of a sudden, Ms. Torres, might decide that she does not want the drama because, Ms. Torres, you have brought drama and toxicity to this. The two of you really shouldn't have been together from the beginning. No. I think this was a recipe for disaster and it has manifested itself this way. I'm really disappointed in the way that you all have conducted yourself in this relationship. Yes. And I quite frankly think a little bit of something over here tells me that you're a bit of a user. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. You're gonna get that ring back. You ain't give me no ring. You're gonna get that back. You give me your no ring. You sat up there with all that line. All that line you did. I ain't give you no ring. For the bald-headed liar. You ain't getting nothing. You're gonna get that back. That's collateral. I bet you give it back. No, you're not. You're gonna be cased up. That's how we gonna play it. No, you're not. Okay, Robert. <laughs> that little toxic girl. Oh, my God. Talk about strikes. But the funniest thing, and I'm sure the jury is gonna agree, did you see the picture of that club that was renovated with okay. the dangling grandma ceiling fan? Okay, wait, and the plastic <laughs> on the furniture? Oh, she went to kick it at somebody's crib and didn't uh, feel like going home. For sure. Baby, stay away from them little tenderonies. They'll get you in a trick bag every time. Made in Georgia.